Hello, my name is Will, and I will be giving you a science commentary explaining some physics concepts in a game of baseball. In this first clip, the pitcher applies a force setting the ball on a horizontal path heading towards the batter. Here we can see Newton's first law of motion. An object in motion will stay in motion unless acted upon an unequal force. In this case, the bat provides that unequal force sending the baseball into a new direction ball travels in a parabolic path that has both a horizontal and vertical component of movement that sends the ball up into the air and away from the pitcher. Here we can see the player running to second base. Newton's third law is at work here. The player pushes on the ground and the ground pushes back the same amount of force onto the player, allowing him to move forward. The ball is thrown to third base and hits the ground before it gets to the player. The player can be seen coming up to the base and begins to slide. Here is a replay of the ball's projectile motion. A smaller parabolic path of the ball can be seen as it is thrown as well. If you look at the bottom of the screen, the runner is coming up to third base and begins to slide. Let's take a closer look at the player. He slides and begins to lose speed thanks to friction. You can see the dirt he kicks up when he lands. It is that dirt that is providing the friction that slows him down, causes him to stop just as he gets to the base. You can also see that gravity is on his side because the player that threw the ball to third base did not give it enough acceleration to overcome gravity force and reach third base. Here is another clip where the parabolic path can be seen. If you wanted to find the force on the ball, you would take the mass of the baseball times the acceleration. That would give you the force in Newtons. This is Newton's second law. You can see friction at work again, acting against the player in the opposite direction of his movement. The player scored a run. You can see the fans doing some centripetal motion with their rally towels. The towels are moving in a circular path where the force is directed towards the center. This has been Physics in Baseball. I'm William Smith, and thank you for tuning in.